Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an extreme clean. Today I'm showing you how we tackled the two worst spaces in our home. The first being our garage, which was just completely trashed and in need of a good clean. This is my husband Matt's Monica closet and everything just gets dumped in here. So we really needed to sort it out. And I'm also tidying up our playroom in this video. It was also just overrun with toys that needed to be sorted out and organized. We used this room so much during the pandemic, but it was time to actually give it a good clean. So although this clean today isn't the prettiest, there are some very satisfying before and afters. So I hope it really motivates you and inspires you to clean as well. And with all that said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, we're gonna show you a bit of a before, and I've actually got my husband, Matt, here to help me with the voiceover. No, I've actually got you helping <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> because he actually did most of this clean while I was like in the house with the kids. So it was a break. We yeah, he basically just wanted a break from home life. So <laughs> we've been spending too much time what has together. My life come to yeah, but as you can see, like we probably don't even need to voice this bit over, but it's just it's beautiful, horrendous, organized <laughs> chaos. Yeah. So can you believe we used to fit all of this into our half a garage in our previous home? Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know, we recently moved house, and in our old house we only had half a garage, which is probably like. What, a sixth of this? Or quarter? It's probably about four times as big, isn't it? So yeah. It's, like a, it's not quite a double gauge. I think it's like one and a half. Yeah. But compared to what we had before. Yeah, it's an amazing space for us. Yeah. And um, actually, when both of our sets of parents saw this garage, they were like, that could be a great annex one day for us, like when we get older. Um, but There's we were like... all Christmas decorations. Oh, sorry. Yeah. sorry, all the Christmas decorations. So there is actually a set, like a loft on this garage, isn't yeah. there? Where we keep all the Christmas stuff... But then all the scooters and the boots and like everything else is down here. And before we moved, we actually had a really good clear out. Yeah. So a lot of this we do actually this has use. Been decluttered. We <laughs> yeah. have so many wellies. Yeah. It's just unreal. But then it's so hard because. Hold on, here I go. I'm gonna work my magic. Hmm. <laughs> well, what's in here? I'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up. I think I might just start. I'm just talking to someone. <laughs> <laughs> delivery man, <A> bird. <laughs> delivery of my Amazon packages. <laughs> yeah, sorry mate, no idea. You're like, oh, you're then, back again. Yeah, I had a can of Red Bull and I was on my way. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was I saying about the annex? Oh yeah, they said about it, but we were like, no, we need this space for all of the stuff. Emily we? still thinks we can turn it into something, but I'm like, no, like until the renovation's done, mm. it's such a good dumping ground for it your Amazon ideal. deliveries. Yeah, all the boxes. Like we did talk about it being a gym, yep. possibly, but actually we have been on Pinterest and seen how you can make a garage look beautiful, can't you? <laughs> like paint it white. Like a department store. Have all these hooks and it just looks amazing. So maybe... And I'll still dump stuff on the floor in there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day yeah we're just gonna make it a pretty dumping ground yeah um but yeah so first off matt was literally taking everything out and putting it onto the drive was i you? And yeah let's not film doing? the drive that's next week's video <laughs> i don't want to see the drive clear up the mess um oh yeah, yeah just, go on. i just took it all out to make it look like it was tidier <laughs> Stop it. no 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 we had a good sort out didn't we on the drive um, yeah a lot of the stuff just needed re-putting back onto the shelves and stuff um all those boxes for recycling because yeah oh no, hold on here we go oh. leaf blower oh you see blowing. i actually used it well done though. yeah just blow it onto the drive <laughs> i have to clean that up <laughs> that did actually help to get all those leaves out underneath yeah no because it's like quite a lot to it's too big to vacuum and stuff and then i was trying to work out like it's just a bit of a bit of a mess isn't it so trying to work out we should put all the cooking stuff in one section yeah because there's like there's things like the slow cooker or we have like two slow cookers um because if we entertain you want two of them yep. don't you and then we've got like i think that's my omelet maker that i was like i'm gonna use this all the time and yeah, then i like haven't going. used it that much um, doesn't help that i don't like omelets yeah <laughs> and then there's like gifts for children's parties if and when yeah they happen again i used to like have some in backup so matt is now sorting out his two toolboxes why are you laughing because I obviously do so much around the house you do a DIY lot around the house is my middle name <laughs> you do a lot around the house but 
He's no. not, well, neither of us are very handy, are we? No, sweep mm. yourself. No, no. I'm actually better at cleaning. <laughs> I think I actually bought you one of those toolboxes because I didn't know what to get you for Christmas. So I was like, oh, I'll just get him a new toolbox. Yeah. And now you've got two. Yeah, cheers. Full of tools. And now you're mugging me off about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you are cleaning, so that's good. Wiping everything well down. Well trained. Yeah. But now I think I'll play you some music and then I actually make an appearance and help you, don't I? Yeah, just for the uh, record. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I decided to show up because you came out. no because you came into the house and you were like can you sort out all those gift bags and party things look at it i know but are you even a mum if you don't have a bag of gift bags around you need to get a bag <laughs> for that bag of gift bags <laughs> so i've got a box of gift bags and i've also been chucking like all party things in there so i did need to sort it out so i'm just going through now and You're i'm quick, like aren't you? i am so quick <laughs> I'm putting the ribbons in a pile, the bags in a pile. I've got Valentine's things, Christmas things, Easter things, birthday things. Like, I'm just trying, trying to... You were talk as quick as you were moving there. Organize... <laughs> You're just too chill. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so then I actually made a box for all, like, birthday party things with gift wrap. And then, this is it. Ooh, gift boxes got so many party plates like hopefully one day we can actually have parties again yeah no but I, every single birthday i get that birthday banner out so, like some of that stuff is actually quite useful and then i also have this box of cards so if you need a card for anything wedding like birthday christmas Second 70th uncle's did you see that cat. 70th 18th who do we know that's turning 18 i don't know but i've got a card for it <laughs> i've got christmas cards I got condolences, thank you cards. I just like like to have everything so it's like easy to I'm actually running low on birthday boy cards. Need to get more of those. Um, but anyway, then I've decided to put all the ribbon into one of my gift boxes, all the balloons into another little gift box, and then I'm actually having another box. Oh my god, I've said box so many times for all the Valentine's things, and then I made one for all of our spring and Easter things. One for Halloween. Like, I felt really organized after this. I've got like more artificial flowers so I can make another spring wreath next year. I was thinking I'll make one for your mum. Yeah, nice idea. Yeah. And then all that Halloween stuff. So, your witch's hat. When there's another holiday, I'm going to be like Bam. so organized. No, you're going to be like, oh, I forgot I had that box and you're going to buy a load more stuff. <laughs> Look, I've got Christmas cards for the kids to give out at school next year. Wow. <laughs> 2024 I was <laughs> but I just need to remember that I've actually done that um, and now I'm just trying to find a space for everything oh look at this lovely pile what is all this so that gymnastics mat yeah that's I put that Kayla's. in that shed at the bottom of the garden because it's actually going to be used in the garden now the weather's supposedly changing yeah Caleb does like to do like cartwheels and stuff on that doesn't he the bikes they actually went and we've got a bike shed a tiny little thing around the corner so one of them fitted in with Jackson's bike, so one of them would have to go back in. Sledges, mm. obviously, they need to go away. I think I just put them up there for now, and then I'm 
later on I put them up high up with the Christmas stuff I thought Christmas snow you know yeah we do need those sledges for that one day that year one day yeah that yeah. we get snow <laughs> Because when if you, if that day comes and you're not ready, it's like oh exactly no. that scooter was such a good investment though as well. We got it on one when you got one day use have it with the snow, didn't we? Well, but, the scooter uh, sledge. Yeah, yeah, so good. No, we've got it. We've got oh it look, there's a wedding photo. Yeah, I burnt that. <laughs> Stay tuned for um, me burning my wedding photo. <laughs> oh my god, that was my father's day card. You're not well, allowed yeah. on the voiceover anymore. <laughs> Leaf blower, oh, here leaf she is. Blower yeah, yeah fortieth never... leaf blower. You got that from not your fortieth. The blower I was expecting. Yeah, so when I bought that from Matt's fortieth, what did you say? This was not the sucking action I was hoping for. No, I did not <laughs> say. <laughs> I said this isn't the blower I was expecting. <laughs> so you just like taking it up a notch. <laughs> the mum's coming out of you. You did say something There's like that. There's over here. Oh, that's actually Fraser's basketball hoop that we... Um, oh, my God, we need to put that up. Yeah, but I, as I said, I'm really handy. I was just, <laughs> just trying to find the time to uh, get on the roof of the garage and drill a load of holes to put a oh. basketball hoop up. Oh, look, here's the luggage we yeah, haven't used. Yeah, I thought I'd stack for... it because we don't use it as opposed to it oh. needs to be accessible. See, we used to go on so many vacations. Golf clubs, that never used. You got that for your 40th? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully you can use that soon. That was better than the leaf blower, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> I've used the leaf blower more. <laughs> got the ladders out. Got your ladder. Health and safety out of me now. But there's so, some hooks up the top that it's gone over, so don't worry. But some of you know that I love to watch this show called 24 Hours in A&E. And on that show, there are often people falling off of ladders. And it's said on that show, if you're over 40, you should not climb a ladder. Oh, so I'm you, 30, so I'm all right. <laughs> you should not be climbing a ladder. Yeah. You should have got me to do it. I'm How kidding. much better does that look already? That does look a lot better. I even got the hoover Didn't out. Didn't know you were using that out there. Yeah, soz. <laughs> I did sweep up first. Oh, it's the old one anyway. Oh my God, there were so many spiders. I didn't mm. film any because I just thought we'd get the, what are they called? No, people like genuinely are really scary. Little, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought people won't appreciate that it's a big spider on the screen. I have to di- put a disclaimer. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And then I just stacked it all back up. Mm-hmm. Put, it, put my put my wheels in there. Oh, this no, was this... used previously as a, like I used to put your sports car in the garage. So I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. Yeah, the previous. Owner, and we st- we haven't actually used these shelves yet because they're so beautiful. Yeah. Um, so we gave them a bit of a clean up, and we decided to store the food in those. Um, like it's our like temporary backup. pantry or backup yeah we um, like to keep like all of supplies. like the backup cans all this beauty beautiful stuff <laughs> but we do actually run out to the garage quite often yeah, yeah to get especially for barney bears and cheerios yeah tea we run out coffee of that. tea coffee oat milk yeah coffee's the main milk. thing isn't it um so yeah so you put all of that into the cupboards yeah that's I'm good just amazing, isn't it aren't I? Look, if watch, we watch lock down, down it. again we won't have to worry we've got so much no, it made me realise we actually don't have a lot of stuff. It just looks so bad laid out on there. When, when you put it in a cupboard, it's like, ah. Oh, okay. And I think, like, we don't want to have, like, loads in the kitchen. If we've got enough, then we can just run out here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's things you don't need in the house. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, stacked it all up, OCD a... style. Yeah. I'm going to be a murderer. People, if you live in America, you're probably thinking, oh, surely it gets too hot to have food out there. <laughs> No, it doesn't get too hot Literally, in England. in the hottest of temperatures, this garage <laughs> will be cold. Yeah, and it doesn't really get too hot where we live, does it? Nope. Unfortunately. Not yet. I'm a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now
look at it. That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> No but no one either. actually paid you anything. <laughs> but you did a good job. See the floor. You can see the floor again. But actually, you can already... There's already stuff in there, isn't there? Yep. Because the reason that Matt did this clean is we're having our bathroom done and the units were arriving, but we're not actually ready for them in no. the renovation. So we needed a place to put them. So now they're in there. But it is so much easier to find stuff now. So oh, well yes. done. Any holiday that happens now, I'll be like, yeah, got oh, that. Stolen. So, no, this is only <laughs> Party this stuff. For like two weeks. Oh, electrical stuff. Yeah, you know. Gardening. Yeah. So these are actually old labels that we had from our previous home. I need to actually use my fancy label maker, don't I? Which is there somewhere. But I'll save that for when it's like Pinterest worthy. Okay, so now enough of that. It's all looking lovely. So now I'm going to clean out the playroom. Yeah, go on. I'll have the kids. Which is... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let's look at that pantry though. Look, look at much that. that. That is so good. Looks anyway. amazing. There's mm. the skateboards. There's the scooters. Oh, there's the uni pizza oven that we got. Yeah. There's the sideboard, which we're hoping to eventually have in the house somewhere. <laughs> One day. <laughs> but it's currently out there. There's the washing machine that we're hoping to have in our new laundry room as yeah. well. Right, um, enough of this. Yeah, you looks go. Looks beautiful. Go clean. Yeah, so now I'm going to tackle our playroom, which is the next most trashed room in the house. Here it is. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's awful. And there's also some furniture in there at the moment that we're waiting to put um, in Caleb's room. But as you can see, we have a million toys, but we've actually they like they use so many of them especially during the pandemic we got all the toys out but i'm actually going to put this little pool table away because they haven't been using it loads have using they using the wine cooler yes there yeah. for pool balls. I, I can't <laughs> wait for that to fall over so it's gonna be a really nice sound i need to find another place for them but we put up that temporary so that pool table we take away on like staycations or just it's quite good like every now and then we'll just put it on the dining table and the kids can play pool but i thought i would like put it up on boxes to see how much they use it to see if we could actually warrant having a pool table because matt would one day like a pool table he's having one is having a pool table in the games room we're calling it as the boys get older we're going to call it the games room yeah um, yeah um so anyway we had it up they didn't use it loads they used it when people like if we could ever have people around i think they would use it but um i took it down put it in the garage <laughs> sorry there you go <laughs> Um, and now I'm just cleaning Jackson's little shop. He loves this thing. He got it for Christmas, plays with it all the time. But every now and then, it's my guilty pleasure to like tidy to up <laughs> and sort all the little food out in the kitchen. And he also just got that little microwave. You don't just do that in the real kitchen. Didn't he? You bought him that microwave, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, from the he charity was, shop. Yeah, he's he a good boy it. at his haircut. So then Matt got him a little microwave in the charity shop um, downstairs. And this little table, we have two of these, but they really do use them like to play with the dollhouse or to color. And then while I was in here cleaning, I was just procrastinating. I wanted to see what the furniture you looked like. You accidentally opened up the chest of drawers. <laughs> I accidentally. Which we were protecting. Yeah, I wanted to see what Caleb's new furniture looks like. Sorry, that was slightly out of focus. But this is Caleb's new set of drawers for his new room. It's like a natural wood, isn't it? Mango wood, yeah. Mango wood from a place called Maison du Monde. And the best thing about ordering from there was it came fully made. Well, pretty much made. Yeah, compared to some of the places. Yeah, so we just had to put the legs onto this bedside table. But again, is that ma the same? So that's mango wood. Yeah, the other one's like an antique kind of look. Yeah, so um, at least that's here because... Basically, with the renovations, we've found that sometimes like when you order furniture, it's very touch and go whether it's going to come in a week or it's going to come in like 12 weeks. Whereas that stuff was really quick. Yeah. So we, we basically like, oh, let's just order it all in. And then it arrived really quickly. Um, but now, as you can probably see, I'm just like Marie condoing the kids' toys, dumping it all out. Blippi. Literally going through everything. And then so I've got a basket for figures, a basket for little tiny toys, a basket for cars. I'm just trying to like sort it all out. This this is quite cool. We got this on Amazon. Shock. Um, and you put all the cars in. But then when you open it up, you get a little road as well. Um, so this is like 
actually Fraser was the one who loved cars yeah. and I'm just like hanging on to them and they're so good if we ever have friends over and their kids like cars I just always get it out but I feel like Jackson's not that bothered about them no. like I could probably give it to another child that would love them more I think that box was actually bought as a gift for someone but because of lockdown we didn't end up giving it to them or seeing them and then just the kids liked it so we've ended up being our car like toy storage it. Yeah. Soz. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm we got them something else. wiping out this storage. This is from the Great Little Trading Company. It's so like it's so old now. It's actually it's getting well. a bit like rickety. But yeah, there's no point in replacing it because eventually we will redo this room and we'll probably have some storage built in, won't we? But for yeah. now it does the job. Um but yeah, it just took me ages to try to like but now I've got a basket for Play Doh a basket for Duplo, a basket for like all different things. Um, there's so much Lego as well. And then this little like putting thing. A little present. You got this for your 40. Yeah, I You know. got I've so done, much. I've done all right, yeah. You did, yeah. I actually used that more than my golf clubs. Yeah, well, this was such a good one. Oh, look, the kids oh. are come to find me. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, gave, I gave up on the childcare. <laughs> I must have needed the loo. <laughs> they were like, Mom, what are you doing? Don't get rid of any of our toys. But they loved that during lockdown. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. The putting. They were yeah. actually quite good with the aim. And then this corner over here was quite bad. Obviously, you can see all the Lego and the board games. In that little wire basket is all the colouring books. So I was just In going through. In the kids' through. defence, I think I did that Lego. <laughs> that, that pile of Lego, I think I spilled it. I suppose. Oh, so they got tidied up. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you knew you might come along and tidy it up. <laughs> yeah, so I think, yeah, I'm just going to like stick it into a box and then think, oh, I'm going to sort out the Lego a bit later. Obviously, we've got the Lego table. And I, I struggle to get rid of any Lego, like donate any of it, because they just genuinely love it. And if it's like a rainy day, I'm like, should we do Lego? Um, we so, should yeah. count how many pieces of Lego we have. Oh my gosh, on a rainy day. I can't even imagine. Like, sometimes I'm super organized and I keep it with the instructions and everything. But then sometimes I'm like, oh, we've just got loads of it and it's like free play. This looks quite well organized anyway. Yeah, it wasn't too to bad. See if we make it look any better. Yeah, no, so but it was actually a bit dusty and stuff. So I dusted it down, took all the games out. I know we've got loads, but it's just like years of having kids and like we Life. do actually sometimes like to have that like game night, don't we? Yeah. And every now and then we're like, let's play pop-up pirate, you know, especially, like I said, I keep saying, in lockdown, if you were like, quick, we need something to do. It's like, I've got a million puzzles. Like, come this and is do really annoying, puzzles. but in that thing down the bottom, we should actually stack them sideways so you can just take the one that you want rather than... All right, yeah. all right. You do condo, it then. <laughs> Matty condo. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. But I'm just like sorting it out a bit more. Oh, my gosh, am I done already? Yeah. That is a speed yeah. clean. That's when I came in and finished it for you, and then. Oh you wait, I should glory. actually mention that box. It, it just looks horrendous, but the kids <laughs> love it so much. They've made it into a little shop, so the perfect size for them. So I didn't feel like I could get rid of it. They would have killed you. Yeah, they they just love it in there. Um, but yeah, it's Ta-da. looking a lot better. I have put some things in the little fireplace, um, like Lego, the darts thing. That with burning this, it. They've got this thing called Gravitrax, so I've kept all that in the fireplace as well but it's looking so much more organized yeah so i'm sure in a few minutes oh crap oh bye <laughs> i'm dying at matt's bye we weren't expecting that were we can you turn the lights back on i'm sorry i didn't realize it was about to end because i was having so much fun at doing this voiceover podcast style with matt um but anyway i think i'll well i'll have to end the video here we've got no more <laughs> nothing to show you but you're still talking literally that is it um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and having Matt on as well. Thank you. Say goodbye. Like this video if you don't want me to do it again. <laughs> like this video if you don't like Matt. Actually, don't like this video if you don't want Matt. And then like this video if you do want more Matt. Anyway, let's hope it's not loads of dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. See ya. Bye.